Hi there, my name is Eric again, Swiss Army Knife. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe down below. You never know what you're going to get from me because it's such a wide variety of things. Today I want to talk to you about something that's very near and dear to my heart and I think is starting to affect people more and more in their daily lives because they're running into it more and more and that is Alzheimer's and dementia patients. Uh, you probably have uncles, aunts, mom, dads that have the onset of this or the starting of this and you have no idea what this this uh, is going on. And um, I'm doing this because my mom is just starting in this area and um, she's going through the beginning stages of dementia, which I call the flicker stage. And I've, I've actually named a couple stages for this. And the flicker stage is where, and you're going to probably smile or laugh and say, oh yeah, my mom, my grandmother does that, you know, to where you'll be talking to them and five minutes later or two minutes later or half hour later, they'll ask you about the same thing or you'll show them the same thing and they'll forget about it. And then they can remember 35 years ago or 50 years ago, uh, something in detail that happened. So they flicker in and out of either reality or memory. So this is one of the things that I just um, wanted to talk to you about and how passionate I was about something, using a tool to be able to reach them. Now my dad, uh, who's, res who's 92, is now dealing with my mom. And the best way in which to help him recall who is uh, who we are and who the family is and everything like that, to just to give her a little bit of recall, that is... He would take pictures in the hallway and put labels by them, who they are and what they are. And, you know, she may go by them. He has to walk her through them. And as it progresses, that may or may not work. But what I really wanted to do was come up with some kind of a, do you remember these old picture frames that you would get that would be active picture frames? Those are something that would be really helpful for them if you could get pictures and label them. Not just give them pictures of who you are, your friends, your family, your, your immediate family, but labels on them like your son, your grandson, graduation, you know, whatever you want to put on it that jogs their memory, that helps keep them connected to your family. Dementia is a horrible thing and these are some of the tools. Believe it or not, just having a party for them when you think it's a waste and they'll forget, those kinds of excitements are great. So you can tell that I'm not just talking to you about, um, you know, a, a review of an item that I have that's a tool. It's just about this whole thought. And there are so many people out there that just have no clue and really want to learn. So I'm here to help you learn a little bit so you can share this with other people and also maybe bring a, uh, a product into your family and your home that you can not only use for the dementia part of it, or the Alzheimer's part of it, but you can do it to just let your family know what you're doing without having to call them all the time. Because they don't know how to use a smartphone. You set them up with a iPad, which I did, and every other week it's down because they've played with it or something like that. So you really need some kind of a bulletproof on off kind of a thing that they can't really touch that they just know that it's going to be there and it's always going to be on and so when i first started looking at this i thought these framed picture frame items would just be absolutely great and i thought well you know i know what they got out there they've got these frames that are live frames and you put in a a, a, a card and you download them from your computer it's a lot of work and we don't have time in the day to do that. So I really wanted to be able to get something that you could put in the cloud and d download to your frame. And I really was thinking that would be a great thing, tying it in with your social, your Instagram or something like that. So you could always see what your day, what your life is, is doing. So if you hear that noise in the background, it's my dog just flipping out, wants to get fed. Anyway, um, so this is real. This is really a cool thing. So I was going to uh, even think about manufacturing one. And then I met uh, a video of the product developer for Nick's Play. And um, I can't remember his name. It's a long one. But um, he 
speaks passionately about it on Amazon. So if you go to Amazon, you type in Next Play Seed, you will find this. They come in three different flavors of sizes, but this is the one you want to get. Um, this is the most forward thinking thing, and I, I, I applaud what he has done with this. And I'm going to open it up and let you take a look at it. And um, really, on my review, I am just amazed how well uh, constructed this item is, both software and hardware wise. It also has something that's very unusual. I, I, the, the passion of this is a little bit different, and that is this plug, which is actually the power plug, which plugs into the back of this. So it's actually a power plug and a kickstand. So when you want to set this up, you basically turn the kickstand down and you've got it just resting there. Now I would probably frame this too in an area of assisted living so it doesn't get taken or you know end up on its face. But it has some really neat features and it doesn't have the labeling capabilities which I think is coming very shortly. If these developers are, are have any have any sense of what they're doing which I can clearly see they do and they, they, just the way that things are, are, are taken care of. It also has a um, remote in it and this remote so-so um, could be a little bit more uh, powerful but you know for for what you have what's going on I probably would not give this to my parents or somebody that's in that position I just turn it on and it actually has sensors here so you can set it for time where it just will shut off and when somebody goes by it, it comes back on and it starts playing through the pictures that you've loaded there now, how do you load the pictures well, you load them in the cloud. And what is the cloud? Nobody knows what the cloud is. And people go, oh, yeah, okay. It's something up on the internet that you can keep things in. It's been around forever, and now they're calling it the cloud. It's basically a server or a place where you can keep storage of, of tools that you need. And now they've integrated an app with that. So you can actually take this app open it on your iPhone, iOS, I believe Android, and you can take pictures, but you can't label them very well. They just, they haven't gotten there yet. So this is the missing part of this that I've added to this. On my iOS or iPhone, there's a app called PICC, P-I-C-S-E-E. -E. So if you load your items, and I'm speaking strictly of Mac right now because it's a little bit more janky in uh, the PC world, which I do understand, but I can't really go through that right now. So you load them on your uh, on your laptop, and they will actually transfer to your iPhone if you have the iCloud set up properly. If you don't forget about that, just go on, log on to your laptop, get your pictures, drag them into their program, which they've set up, and within two minutes, they're on this frame. So you take the PicC. Um, app, or if you have another app label, you could do it on on uh, I, on Photoshop, but it's really a pain. So just take the Pixie with your iPhone label. It say like mom, dad, graduation, your son, all these things that dementia Alzheimer's patients need to see to get that recognition. Not just the pictures, because they won't know who they are sometimes but they can read and most of the time they can make sense of what that is and you can make them sit for five seconds, ten seconds, half hour, what have you and it's just really nice. So I wanted to get this out so you could enjoy this and use this tool like I'm going to use it with my mom and um, I just think in the future very soon these guys from Next Play are going to come up with a labeling system especially when they see this video and I'm gonna let them play it wherever they want because I really am on board with this and I think that these guys are gonna kill it in this uh, uh, frame world. Thanks! One more thing, if you like what you see, you never know what you're gonna get, just subscribe down at the bottom and you'll be surprised you're gonna get you're going to get such a wide variety of things trying to give you everyday ideas of what to you know what you can use and benefit from in today's world